Welcome back to the hillside everybody. Um, today let's uh, talk about some compost and some myths and kind of uh, just proving some things that maybe maybe misinformation out there. So we all know the benefits of compost and organic gardening. Uh, everybody preaches compost and you know adding compost etc etc and I am a huge advocate of compost. I have my own compost piles. I make my own compost. I add it religiously to my beds and my gardens every year. However, I think the misconception is that compost is basically a substitute for a fertilizer. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, compost, in my opinion, is a soil enhancer. Okay, it's gonna help build uh, microbial activity, uh, organic matter, which is all gonna be incorporated into the living soil web of your garden, um, which you know is gonna benefit your plants and your soil overall. So while it may be beneficial in the very, very long term, um, growing in just pure compost, thinking that it's gonna be just, you know, the answer to all things, may or may not be, you know, exactly accurate. And so I put a little trial on here just to kind of show you and prove my point. So if you see this one right here, the smallest of the bunch, this is grown in just pure compost, okay? This is my own compost I've made. I've used it in my gardens with amazing results. But this plant, I mean, it's not unhealthy. It's just the smallest of the three that I have trialed out right here. Now, to prove my point on this, another thing, look right next door to this one. Let's kind of compare, kind of back out. See how much bigger that one is on the left right there? Okay, now that is actually a different experiment I'm doing. And that is just straight pro mix. Okay, pro mix, um, no added fertilizers that came with the pro mix, but I have added some hydroponic nutrients to it that I got. So I'm just kind of seeing the experiment of how well hydroponic nutrients work in a soil based growing. And I mean, the results, just side by side comparison of just pure compost versus the, um, the pro mix versus with the, um, what I'm trying to say here, the hydroponic solution in it. Okay, so the plant itself seems to be, I mean, the leaves, are longer now these three are all positioned it started on the same day they set in the same windowsill same everything so this is as, as accurate as i can make a uh, comparison but these leaves i mean just comparison uh this one here to that one the leaves are definitely longer but they're also a lot longer on the stem here so i'm not sure if that's because of more nitrogen or is this just whatever stimulating that, that particular aspect of growth so the compost itself is a very compact plant um the leaves are not as big, but however, maybe that's not be maybe that's just a benefit because you're not really going to eat the stems per se. Now, as much as it pains me to say this, and I don't like using name brands, whatever. So, this one right here is a lot stragglier, I suppose. But this is a um, you know bag soil that comes with a uh, fertilizer already in in, a, in it. You might know it. It says you know feeds for up to three months. You know, so this has had nothing added to it no nutrients whatsoever other than just water okay now another caveat i rain i use only rainwater in my uh in my plantings here so everything has been exactly equal so all things being equal the uh the bag soil with the added fertilizer i mean granted it's bigger but the leaves don't look as healthy per se and uh, they do look kind of sad and the plant is kind of uh you know they're kind of bending down a little bit as opposed to the pure compost where the leaves are growing up, it's very compact, it's a very healthy plant. And then of course, to compare these two side by side, the one with the hydroponic nutrients, um, you know, for what it's worth, the stems are still growing more vertical. Uh, however, the leaves are a little bit bigger and I'm sure that's because of probably more nitrogen in the soil. So getting back to the original point, growing in just compost, um, your results may not be as, you know, apparent you know day one however adding compost and using it incorporating it into a well-balanced garden soil uh in your in your raised beds you know things like this is going to definitely definitely add nutrients it's going to add organic matter it's going to help you out in the long run no doubt however you know using it just as your own and only uh potting medium i wouldn't recommend that so maybe using some of the um the uh, pro mix, mixing that in and adding a little bit, just a small amount of uh, organic fertilizer, or maybe mixing it in with the uh, the bag soil from the store, uh, mixing in your own uh, organic compost, maybe just what it needs to kind of balance out the uh, the lankiness of this plant versus the compactness. It may be smaller, but you know, adding them together. So always out here on the hillside, I'm experimenting, I'm trying different things, and I encourage everyone to do the same. 
you know, I'm going to plant these guys outside in the raised bed here, probably in the next week or two. Uh, as you can plant this as kale. Actually, if I didn't mention already, this is dinosaur kale or lacinato kale. So uh, Tuscan kale, it's even, I've heard it uh, referenced as well, an Italian heirloom variety. But uh, yeah, this is going to go out. Kale can survive a uh, light frost. Uh, there's no snow or heavy frost in the forecast. So I'm sure these guys are going to survive just the same. And I might follow back up, you know, in about a month or so after being outside to see just how well these plants have done. Maybe this little guy here has caught up and then surpassed the other ones um, because of the rich soil, you know. So there's just many, many things to look forward to when you're gardening every year. So always have fun with it. That's what I like to say. If you're not having fun, you're, you're doing something wrong because it should always just be an experiment. You're always trying to find a new variety, new ways of doing things, trial and error, uh, something that you did that didn't work. Uh, you know, it's, it's okay because you know what? When you plant it in the ground, you can still eat it. You know, this is going to be perfectly edible. Maybe this plant really doesn't do as well. And maybe this plant over here is going to just catch up and take off and surpass the other two varieties altogether for whatever reason that may be. But in the end of the day, you know, you have food to eat, you're growing your own plants, you're enjoying things, watching things grow. So yeah, always have fun. If you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong and I'll leave it at that. All right guys, hope you like this. If you're interested in more garden experiments and organic gardening and things like that, consider subscribing. I'd like to have you along here on the hillside and uh, maybe we'll see you next time whenever I come up with another experiment. Maybe I'll be planting some stuff out in the ground and uh, you never know what may be happening. So we'll see you next time here on the hillside, guys. Take care.